The death of Kavan McKenzie has brought about significant discussion about the country's sports policy. But on Thursday morning, all that discussion would be a mere side note. As two women, one a leader of the country, the other a grieving mother, led the way to meet the body of a young man who only a few days before left these shores to represent the island of his birth. No precedent had been set for an occasion like this, but the atmosphere and the scenes which played out on the tarmac was akin to a country welcoming home a soldier who died in the line of duty. The cadets from his alma mater St. Jacohai giving him a guard of honor. I want to commend the student that remained in Trinidad and came back just today. He was able to identify uh, young Mackenzie. And so it's, it's, it's really very sad for us and I can understand the grief of the, the parents at this time, thinking that their son would bury them and now they have to be making funeral arrangements. Mackenzie died after completing the junior men's six kilometer event at the NACAC Cross Country Championships at the Mount Irvine Bay Golf Course in Tobago. Mackenzie finished 21st in 20 minutes and 26 seconds, but then collapsed. He reportedly died in the ambulance while being taken to hospital. And having left the island clothed with national pride, just last Thursday, he began his final leg in this life adorned with the national flag. Donald Oliver, CVM Sports.